Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do an 1820 house massive candle haul. Now, I love this company. I've talked about this company many, 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 many times on my channel. Um, actually, only about four or five, but still, I love it. I love the owner. I love everything about this company, and I will give you the whole spiel like I do every video. I met Melissa Parker Smith about five years ago at Shaker Woods Festival in Ohio, which is a little fall festival. Fell in love with her, fell in love with the candles and everything. Um, bought them here and there from her festivals. Um, just recently, I visited her store in East Palestine, Ohio, and it was amazing. And that did it. And now she is probably my favorite person for candles. Um, love them. I have a massive collection that I've accumulated over the past few months. And it's just, it's really taken off. She is extremely successful. She actually makes some candles now. Some of her candles um, for Anthropology.com. So you can go to anthrop uh, Anthropology.com and order from her as well. Like, order some of her candles, which is so cool. And every single thing is handmade. Every single thing is hand-done, hand-poured. I've been there. I've watched it happen. I actually have a picture of me pouring a candle. If I can find it in my phone. Here it is. This is me pouring a candle at her store. This is me and her at her store. It is amazing. This is also not sponsored. Um, her store is beautiful. If you can, if you guys live in that area, visit her store. It's about an hour from me, so I've visited about three times so far. It's just incredible. There's no point in me ordering online anymore because I'm like, I'm just going to go visit her, talk to her, have some fun, uh, catch up. She's just, she's an awesome human being. She makes awesome candles, and I feel so good about purchasing from her because I know she puts so much love, time, energy, and everything into her collections. So, let's go ahead and get started with some of the candles that I purchased. So, the first collection is her Rust Belt collection. So, the Rust Belt is a region in the United States stretching from New York through the Midwest that once thrived on the steel industry. It became an industrial hue due to its proximity of the Great Lakes, canals and rivers, which allowed companies to gain new access, gain access to raw materials and ship out finished products. This region is called the Rust Belt because it, the decline in industrial work has left so many factories abandoned and uncared for rusting due to their exposure to the elements. Welcome to the revival. So she has a few candles, that was loud, in this collection. I have five of them here, each one better than the next. So the first one is one tough cookie. So as you can see, all these are labeled by her. She hand labels all the jars. She designs the labels herself. Super, super cute. And this guy represents Ohio. So one tough cookie is just very, very sugary. A cinnamon cookie, not like a snickerdoodle with a lot of sugar, just very, very cinnamony. I'm going to go pretty quickly through the scent descriptions because I have a lot. <laughs> this one is number seven. It says MD. I'm not sure if that's Maryland or not. Um, dark roasted blend. So this is like coffee. Coffee with cream and sugar. It's not super, super sweet, but it just smells like a fresh cup of coffee, like a cup of McDonald's coffee. Just like a basic cup of coffee. It smells so good. And these guys burn for about, I think, 65 hours. They're very, very awesome. All of her wax is vegetable wax. It's a hydrogenated soybean oil. They burn incredibly well. I actually have one from the collection burning that I will showcase in a little bit. This one, Freshwater Sea, number five. GL, it is the Great Lakes. This is one of my favorites from the line. It just smells... People have described this as like a fresh man's laundry. I don't think that smells like that because then you would think it smells like cologne and it does not. It smells like water, but like bergamot with it or something. It's absolutely stunning. I love fresh water. See, that's definitely one of my favorite picks. This one is Pumpkin Porter Ale, I-N, Indiana, I think. So this is what the wax looks like, and it gets a little crusty sometimes because of the wax. It's really awesome, but they burn super clean. They don't soot or anything. Pumpkin porter ale is like a pumpkin beer. Um, I don't get a whole lot of beer smell out of this. I just get like a really, really rich pumpkin. Ah, it's lovely. I love this one. And these guys are $18.95 on the website. 
Her candles are also very affordable. And then the last one, number 21, tanned leather and tobacco. I also love this. This just smells like fresh leather, like a fresh leather handbag. Nothing else. I don't get a whole lot of the tobacco. I don't know if it's like a tobacco leaf or like regular tobacco, but either way, it's to die for. Then I have three candles from her B Elixirs line. And her B Elixirs line is bright and cheerful to... Oh, wait, hold on. The B Elixir aromatherapy candle line offers pure plant wax infused with botanical ingredients and complex quality perfumed fragrances in a natural base. This aromatherapy product utilizes pure essential plant oils, making sure not to deplete an abundance of the actual plant's life while creating a therapeutic effect on the body. This artfully crafted candle is poured by hand in Ohio. So the B Elixirs line looks like this. It has this one citron and sugared magnolia, and it has little check marks. This one citrusy, refreshing, refreshes and uplifts. So they come in these little cardboard containers. I have burned this one already. This one's 2X. These are $26.95, a little more expensive because of the pure essential oils. This one to me smells like Sprite without the bubbles. It smells a little bit citrusy and you would think it sounds very similar to volcano but it's not volcano it's a little bit more citrus than that and a little bit more green I really like that like I said I'm going kind of quickly because I have a lot this one is fig leaf and rose so it's floral harmony and balance love this one my friend actually got this for one of her friends um, who was getting married I love this. This is like a sweet rose petals. Like sweet rose petals. Very fresh. The fig leaf, it's not figgy like the sweet artificial um, figs. It's the leaf of the fig, so it makes it a little bit green. And the rose, of course, is just a beautiful sweet. It's like a pink rose. And then last in this collection that I have is wood smoke. Spice, warmth, and relaxation. Now, Melissa thinks it smells just woody and smoky. <laughs> But to me, and one of my friends, it smells like chicken wings. I don't know why it smells like chicken wings to me, but that's what it smells like. It just smells like chicken wings, and I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> it smells like chicken wings to me, and it looks beautiful. I love the way it looks. Love the way it smells. And my friend has one, too, and she's been burning it in her house, and it is super, super strong. I love that. So... Last but not least in her collection, well, she has a couple other collections, but the ones that I'm going to talk about, is her Signature Elemental line. This is what it looks like. This is her Signature Elemental line. So the lid is a coaster. It says 1820 House Signature Elemental, of course it's not going to focus, Elemental Aromacology, Pure Vegetable Wax Candle since 2004, hand poured in Ohio. And so what she does, she puts the coaster on and then she puts the sticker that says 1820house.com, and then the scent name. And then once you're ready to burn it, just rip off the coaster. And what I do is I sit the coaster under it when I burn it, so that way it has a protective um, layer between the candle when it gets hot and the um, surface that you're burning it on. They come in three different sizes. This is the small, it's $20. It burns for not 100% positive. I'm going to pull that up on my phone right now to look for you. So this guy's $20. Then there's the medium size, which is $26. And then there's the Mumba Jumba, which is $30, which is like a size that I only have two in. They're my favorite scents from her signature line. Love the way that the signature line smells. So let me pull these up. Her website's very easy to navigate as well. Um, 75 hours for the $20 size, 120 for the medium size, and 150 for the big guy. So they do burn a pretty long time. Um, I'm going to put the link to her website down below as well as free ship 1820. If you use the code free ship 1820 in checkout, if you spend $75, you get free shipping. And she FedExes it to you and it comes super quickly. So let's start with the fall line. She has four brand new fall fragrances this year. Um, the first one, I am head over heels for. It is Turkish coffee. I am obsessed with this scent. And I just love the way these candles look when they have, like, when you rip the top off and they sit there and they burn. They just burn all the way to the, to the bottom with no problem. 
So I believe she told me this is like roasted coffee beans and um, pumpkin seeds, but it doesn't smell super pumpkin-y. It just brings out more of the coffee. I love this. I got this as soon as it came out, and I just, I was obsessed. Like, it's one of my favorite scents. My friend also got it in a bigger size. She's been burning it in her kitchen. It smells amazing. Last time I was there, I picked up the medium size. She doesn't pour a lot of the big ones in her store, um, like, to sell every day because it's not as common of a size as these two are. Um, so she didn't have any pre-made, and I didn't want to take her time and just make one special for me. So I just got the medium size. Oh, I love it. I love it. And, like, so I don't open all these coasters. I just, like, pr prop open the lid and smell that way. Then we have Ember. And another thing, for the most part, her scents are very easily named, so you know what they smell like. So Ember, this is more of a fireplace, but nothing that's like the wood smoke where it's super, super strong and earthy. It's more like a fresh fireplace, like one that's been cleaned deep cleaned so it has that woodiness and that spiciness of the f of the fire but it's fresh it's a fresh clean fire then there is i'm gonna hold them this way so you guys can see craft cider i love this this is like apple cider to the next level with like apple cider with all the elements of fall mixed in oh it's so good like the leaves outside the warmth well, not the warmth. It shouldn't be warm outside, but it is. It's 90 degrees here in Pittsburgh today. Lovely weather. Love it. But that was a joke. I hate hot weather. It smells so good. I know. I'm like, oh, they all smell so good. Now, this one that I'm burning right now is also part of the collection. This one is called Pumpkin and Vanilla. And as you can see, they burn super clean. The wax pool is beautiful on these. I could literally just sit there and stare at her wax pools all day. I don't know why, I just, I love them. And the pumpkin vanilla smells like a pumpkin cupcake. Just like rich and creamy pumpkin. I love it. This is, this should be my, this should be my uh, cover photo for this video. So there's that. Um, some other fall ones are woodland tobacco and cedar. I'm not positive if this is a fall line or if this is a regular line. I just bought it recently, so... It's very, very fresh. So the woodland tobacco, I would say, is like earthy, but nothing like cigarettes. It does not smell like cigarettes. Tobacco and cigarettes smell very different. Cigarettes smell like, ugh, like nasty, like nicotine. This is tobacco. And cedar is a fresh wood, like just fresh wood. Yummy, 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 yummy. Just trying to organize all these candles because I have a ton. And like I said, this should give you guys a pretty good idea of what she has. Salted caramel apple. I have salted caramel apple, and I also have salted caramel or salted caramel. It's the same scent, I believe, except this caramel apple has the apple element. Her salted caramel smells legit like real caramel. Like, not like an artificial caramel smell that's like super sweet. This smells like actual caramel that is like a fresh apple. It's incredible. Mm, I love it. Love it. And I could burn that all year long. <laughs> this one is Elemental Autumn. I took my friend Michelle the first time I ever went there and she picked up one of these and oh my god. Crazy. Loved it. She bought this. Her mom bought it. Or she bought this for her mom and her mom burned through the whole thing already and she got her the medium one. So this is like her version of leaves. It's not leaves, but it's like all the elements of autumn. So the pumpkins, the leaves, the cider, the apples, just a little bit of everything. And that's what it smells like. If you can't decide on an autumn scent, elemental autumn is the way to go. Now she wouldn't be a candle store if she didn't have pumpkin, right? So this is heirloom pumpkin. Now heirloom pumpkin is for pumpkin lovers who don't like the super cinnamony overstimulated pumpkins. This and pumpkin vanilla are definitely the way to go for you guys. If you don't like those overly cinnamon, overly like pumpkin pie spice pumpkins, because it just doesn't smell like that. It smells fresh pumpkin, like fresh pumpkin guts. <laughs> and then this one is wild pumpkin and cardamom. Now to me, a little bit of spice, but nothing crazy. The cardamom is just like the fresh like we have a place here in the south side called penzies 
and, or the strip district. And if you go there, um, it literally they have fresh spices and it smells like one of the spices the cardamom it smells just like pumpkin with a fresh ground spice element to it it's amazing oh, i have so many to go through you guys it's crazy i love them so much though it's this is like the perfect gift um she also does has stockists she does um in a lot of areas around the u.s um stockists are like little companies that she also sells to so really really cool that she does that so you can go to those stores too you can find them on her website stockist and you can see the other places that um you can buy them from this guy is fern and redwood this was part of her summer collection i believe but i like it for this time of year because it's just like fresh woods and fresh green and it's like equal to both then bamboo and lilac i don't believe this is on her website anymore this was part of the spring line but it smells like fresh lilac i don't get a whole lot of the bamboo it's a little bit watery so maybe that's what i'm picking up as the bamboo but it's just like fresh picked lilacs avocado and mint smells heavenly it smells super super sweet like like who is texting me profusely oh my gosh um just super, super fresh and, like, creamy avocado with the fresh sp sprig of mint. Not mint like, um, not mint like peppermint. It's like a fresh mint leaf. Leather and tobacco. Um, once I burn through this, I think I'm going to purchase it in a big one because I really like the way this smells. I already know I'm going to love this in my living room. We have a beautiful leather couch in the living room, so this will just, I feel, go perfect with that. Oh, yeah, it smells so good. It smells, again, like fresh leather. It's actually, I believe, the same scent as in the Rust Belt, just a different um, different design. Then we have Wine Sap Apple. Wrong way. Wine Sap Apple, which I don't know what a Wine Sap is. I don't know if it's just like a... To me, this smells like a sweet... Ooh. I'm getting a wine smell from it that I never got before, like an alcoholy note. Ooh, that's yummy. Really, I believe she has a wine sap pair too. I believe. I believe. This one is French baguette. It smells just like a fresh baked loaf of bread that's super crusty on the outside that you've just broken open. It smells just like that. Love that. Love that. Great for like a kitchen smell. Warm milk and vanilla. It smells just like a warm vanilla. I don't. Um, it smells like fresh vanilla extract that you put on the stove, and the scent just permeates the house. It's a very odd description, but that's what it smells like to me. I'm trying to keep this video under 20 minutes. This one is Mission Fig and Sandalwood. This is a newer one that I bought. It's not new, but it's newer to me. I don't smell a whole lot of sandalwood. I just smell fig, like a sweet fig candle. It's yummy. These are, like, stacking up like crazy. Geranium and Citrus Zest. I use this hairspray in my hair from, it's a brand called EVO, and it smells, um, it's a helmet spray, it's super, super strong hold, it smells exactly like this. Like, exactly 100% to a T, even smell the hairspray element. So, I don't know, this is geranium and citrus zest, just like a fresh. So then I have two more of the bigger candles. This one is white tea and eucalyptus. Again, just super, super fresh. Pick up the eucalyptus note. My dad hates eucalyptus, but he smelled it, and he really likes that. And then a standout scent from her, Black Orchid and Plum. This was part of her summer line. It is yummy. It's like the plum just sweetens it when the florals of the black orchids are... It's beautiful. Then I have Vanilla Chai, which used to be called 18th Century Kitchen, which I actually reviewed here on my channel before. Um, but she changed the name because she wanted to stick to, like, basic names that people would know what it is. So Vanilla Chai is the 18th Century Kitchen, which is like a cinnamon sugar cookie. So one tough cookie is more of, like, straight up cinnamon with a cookie. This is more cinnamon sugar cookies. I love this. I love this. As you can see, I have it in a big size. And again, burns clean all the way down. And like I said, her candles just burn beautifully, too. And then last but not least, my signature scent from her that I love is Cashmere Sweater. She did actually, um, I ordered online, and then I went to pick up 
my order because I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to pick it up. And then I bought some more. And this, she goes, I just had to freshly make this for you because you ordered it and I didn't have any in stock. Oh, it smells so good. It's a little bit coconut milk, a little bit of like sweet sandalwood, just everything that makes you feel like when you put like a fresh cashmere, cashmere sweater on. Like if I had a cashmere sweater on, I'd want to douse it in this perfume. It just smells incredible. But anyway, guys, that was my incredible 20 plus minutes, not by much, just a few seconds, um, 1820 house video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out Melissa. Like I said, she puts a lot of work into these candles and she just loves it. It's her favorite thing to do. She works so hard and she's an awesome person. So you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you later. Happy fall. Bye.